Hi, I'm Bob Street Manor from Lithy Botanical Garden. Um, this is, we're in the herb garden today, uh, this afternoon, and this is the time of year that you uh, frost is approaching, and you have a lot of herbs, you have an abundance of herbs, and there's certain things that you can do to preserve them or keep them or use, maybe even use them this winter, uh, put them to use. And it's especially good for like the culinary herbs. Um, you can dry them um, is one way, um, and basically the best way is to uh, harvest them in the morning just after the dew has burned off. Um, but you don't want to harvest them too late because it starts to, the sun will actually burn the oil, essential oils within the herbs will start to diminish as the day progresses. So harvest in the morning after the dew has burned off. And, you know, a great way to preserve herbs is to dry them. You dry them in a, a, a you dry them in an area where it's, you get good air circulation and not a lot of sun. Um, you want to preserve those oils as much as possible. Um, just bundle them um, and hang them in your kitchen is not a bad spot or near a, uh, you know, you know, a breakfast nook or something like that. Um, it's especially good. Uh, that's especially a good place for the kitchen herbs because you can use them right there in the kitchen and just crunch, uh, just cut them off and crunch them in and grind them down into different uh, sauces and salads and that type of thing. Another thing you might consider doing is making things with them. You can make um, uh, flavored oils, um, herbed oils, and those it, there's you can preserve them for. Uh, you know, it's going to last for at least a, several weeks anyway in the fridge. Um, an oil that uh, had herbs integrated into it. Also, you might consider pesto. Um, pesto, if you know, using basil and uh, uh, you can use wine, uh, walnuts or pine nuts and olive oil and salt and pepper. And I think maybe Parmesan cheese sometimes is used in pesto. I'm not sure the recipe entirely, but um Pesto is a great way, and you can actually a great way to preserve that basil in in the all, the, and you can uh, use it all the way through the winter if you freeze them. Just bag them up in little sandwich bags, in freezer bags, and freeze them and stack them up in your freezer. And you can, you know, you can portion them out so you um, have just in the amount you would need for your dinner that evening or something. You know, so a small bag, and that works super well. Um, some of the herbs that are used for fragrances and teas. Um, that's uh, drying them in bundles is a perfect way to go about preserving those um, at, at just before frost happens. If you're not familiar where we're at, uh, we're at the uh, corner of Gifton Prospect, just north of the Peoria Zoo in Glen Oak Park.